Well, hello there, human sippies, earthlings, hope you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough, indeed, to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel, and for those of you who thought you were getting away from the potato head, boom, think again, I got you right here, right here, baby. <laughs> Breaking mirrors the world over. No, this is a video, I've, um, I've actually been playing a lot of Blitz the past couple of days. Uh, I've been checking out the WZ113 particularly. I'm going to be doing a video on that, the WZ120. Uh, I've been looking at basically a lot of the WZs and also I've been playing this little number here. For some reason, I looked at my numbers and things and this is like my most played tier X these days. And I started to sit down and think about that. And I've, I've come to the conclusion that it's also one of the most versatile tier Xs. Um, it role plays a mouth style big heavy tank superbly well it has the kind of alpha that is very reminiscent of a 183 a death star and it also um has that massive intimidation factor as a, a, just a tank destroyer at the at the back of the map so i decided to just um show you a little bit of why i love the jaeger so much it's not gonna be a long video because i've done that many reviews in the jaeger but you can see it rewards angling. It's just an amazing tank for angling. You can get these beautiful flat German side scrapes set up, which are incredible, and you can bounce the best of them. You've got massive thick traps, you've got space armor on the sides, and when you roll high, you roll high. It is an amazing tank, and uh, as you can see, this very short video where I'm literally role-playing a heavy. Like, I am driving forward, side-scraping, playing a traditional heavy roll, and putting out sweaty wads of damage, while at the same time bouncing shots, and not just side-scraping defensively, which is something you can do in a lot of tanks. I'm side-scraping offensively with this tank. And the key to it is obviously the gun arc. They buff the gun arc on this tank. And the gun arc is... Oh, hello! <laughs> I mean, wow! Well, this is like two minutes for four and a half K damage. Thumbs up from this guy. Um, if you're wondering what I mean by gun arc, you can see that I've got my gun moves from left to right, up and down. There's gun arc and there's gun elevation and depression. The gun arc was previously just enough so that you could side scrape and pull out, but it would expose a lot more of the tank. Uh, where's me tank that Iverson bought me? So this is what I mean. This is your, pretend this is just any tank, uh, the Jaeger route. If you can turn the gun that far, okay, when you angle out to get a shot, you can angle out like that. But you have to pull all the way out and that exposes this part of the tank. If you can angle the tank that far, the gun that far, that gun arc, then you don't have to pull the tank out as far. And the angle when you pull the tank out to keep it straight is this, not this. That means, because of your angle increasing, you get more bounces. And that's why this thing now is so good as a heavy tank. And so incredible as just an intimidator. And a lot of tanks don't seem to understand the alpha down. The HE alpha on this thing. You're going to see a couple of tanks who come a cropper with that in just a wee short while. This is kind of a non-traditional method of using the Jaeger route, but one thing I noted when I first started playing, um, uh, doing masterclass videos, and I got Dark Magician Girl in to do a, a, a Jaeger Roo um, video, drive it aggressively. Uh, it's not a tank that you should waste sitting at the back. The best drivers in this thing get it out and drive it like a heavy tank. It's the versatility of it. You can, you can push a line with the mouse because you can, like you. Someone tries to hit point trade with a Jaeger in a Peekaboom situation, you could be looking at a thousand hit points coming back, um, and that's a lot. That's a, a really bad. I mean, and did we mention the pen? The pen on the thing is amazing. So I've been driving this into the ground. Have a look at this game here, and you'll understand why. This, there is a lot going on on the map right now, and not all of it is particularly good. You can see we are very much centered around the uh, top area of Castilla with the, the, you know, the, the high ground, baby. Love that high ground, both morally and quite physically in the game. <laughs> I'm a high ground believer. And the Yeguru is also very, very slow, but that's okay, because a lot of the big heavy tanks in the game, like the Mouse and the Air 100, uh, tanks like that, they're not very fast either. So. 
you don't mind, you'll, you'll plot along close or just behind them, and that's a good place for this tank to be. Um, you are, of course, as big as a barn. So if you get caught sideways, like my heart is in my mouth going up this hill, because if I get caught on the side here, things are going to be very bad for me indeed. Uh, and going all that way across the top is dangerous because you do have a typically weak lower plate. I mean, you can angle it hard enough that you get bounces against mediums and such, but still, it's not it's not an amazing uh, an amazing monster. Uh, at the same time, everyone else should be very worried here because. This is not just a one-trick party. Oh, hello. You're about to see switching ammo types there. Uh, nice big 760 into the side of it. And we're starting to pick up a little bit of damage here. Just still unspotted, wondering how that happened. I would love to get that second shot in. He's just going to get away before the reload hits. That's fine. We can either sit up here waiting for targets, or we can get down amongst it and get filthy dirty in the trenches. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to roll down here and look to turn the corner and get stuck into these two. Now, there are, in fact, three here. This is bad news. Uh, it is currently five on four, and... It's still a doable proposition here. Five on three. Let's clear that IS-7. We got our HE. Lots and lots of splash damage. And we're moving away from that corner and then angling again. Look at that angle. Steep angles. Steep angles. And I'm just backing up to try and keep this FV in front of me. I want a HE shot in the tracks, but I can see that there is a... Get ready for the HE a loser. Here we go. That wasn't a max roll. That wasn't me getting a max roll. That was just 1,200 straight HD damage. That wasn't a max roll. That was 1,200 straight HE damage, which is your average alpha for a HE shell. Like, your average alpha roll for HE, if you land a pen, is 1,200. People forget that this tank is literally like a Death Star in terms of alpha. The Jaegeru is um, a tank that has a wonderful gun. Like... You know, you're talking about a 170 millimeter gun. That's a lot. 150 is your big dogs, like your E3s, your grills and everything. This is 170. And it behaves accordingly. I love this tank. I drive it so often. I didn't realize how much I drove it until I went back and looked at some of the streams uh, and looked at some of the uh, stats on my accounts. And the Jaegeru is right up there, and especially over the last 90 days. This thing is just such a go-to. And the HE splash is amazing, right? HE splash is just ridiculous. Um, what a tank. What a game. What a player. <laughs> what, how good is this player bloke? Like, you don't often see the player blokes are embarrassingly bad, but this player bloke seems to be all across it. What a wonderful guy. Player underscore eight, nine, whatever. Good game to you, amigo. Good game. Look after yourselves, boys and girls. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, as always, Kolobinovsky times. Uh, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.